Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review the unofficial build of Silent Gem Mode 13 for the OnePlus 3. If you go to the settings menu, about phone again, you can find I am running Silent Gem Mode 13, 13.0 unofficial, which is based on Android version 6.0.1. You can see other details there. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the look and feel. For me, it, it was very snappy, even snappier than the Oxygen OS. Again, this is the first build of the RAM, so don't expect everything as smooth as it should be. So I'll do a quick check on all the features. First of all, uh, this is the launcher, and then you can see all the toggles here. So you can, there will be toggles will be in uh, folders, sorry, different pages. And if you want to edit that one, you can see the edit tiles here. And then if you click on the battery options you can see the battery options but there is an option there's a limitation here you can't change the battery icon of the navigation bar from now and here's the battery saver as well as the battery optimization option it is there so that is there and then let's talk about all the toggles this is a do not disturb toggle and then um, GPS in the next page you can see flashlight, cast, hotspot, invert color, to invert color and then the theme, themes option is there. Besides that we have this night option, different kind of, uh, if you go to the settings menu, uh, here we have a uh, multi user option. So besides that if you go to the settings menu you can see all the SIM card options like uh, it's supporting the dual SIM, no issues with that. NFC is turned on automatically. And then all the sound options, launch music app, uh, when headset is connected, option is there. And then you can customize the different uh, ringtone for different uh, scenes, that is good. And then in display and lights, you can see adaptive displays there, live displays there. And then ambient display is also there, double tap to wake up if you want that one, double, you can turn it on and then double tap to uh, sleep also is there. So double tapping the navigation button will sleep the device so both the settings are there and then prevent action recap option so a search bar in the uh, reasons menu so this is the reasons menu with I forgot to tell you that so as that next one is the themes and this is the beauty of Santa Gemma that we can install any theme uh, here are some themes I installed so this theme is called blue material free rare theme so you can see this is the theme with nice animation and everything and if you, and if, there are different themes that you can download from the play store free for free if you are a fan of uh, galaxy themes here is the galaxy one nice theme so here you can see it came back so this is a really nice theme samsung theme with nice animation There are many themes that you can download from the Play Store. For now, I'll stick with the default theme. And in settings, we have notifications like heads up notification is there, and then app notifications, notification access. All the settings are there. Lock screen, we can do all the lock screen options. Fingerprint, we can set up fingerprint, and it's working very fine no issues with that visualizer music visualizer show weather all these settings are there like stock see intelligent mode settings and here is the buttons options like if you want the on screen navigation bar you can turn on that one and then for the navigation bar we have these these settings will come like layout button layout everything you can customize the name on screen buttons here is the power man options so if you want to turn on the screenshot here, if you press that one, you can see the screenshot here. And uh, press power button twice for the camera. So it will turn on the camera and issues with that. And other settings you can do with all these uh, capacity touch screens. So as that in additional settings you can swap buttons like we have there in oxygen OS. so besides that we can also customize the notification slider like top position middle position button position like that you can change the notification slider 
and here is the off screen gestures all the gestures are working fine and here is the uh, ambient display so we have tilt sensor also as well as proximity sensor so for the hand wheel it's turned on waving the hand will turn on the notification uh, sorry uh, ambient display so that the option is also working fine besides that we have system profiles custom system profiles status bar customization you can do like status bar i can you can customize all this one clock style am pm set battery style is there if you want to see the text you can go here also but the option is not available there and then in brightness control if you want on status bar you can do that also show not begin down keep pull down option so this is the keep pull down and let's talk about the stock applications comes with this one this is the normal dialer cyanogen normal dialer messaging app as well as cyanogen browser is here with tabbed browsing so other options so that's a cyanogen browser and here's the camera and camera is working fine and we can activate the camera with the volume key also and we have all these settings we can do with this Synergy mode camera there are many settings option here you can play with selfie camera and other options are here so everything is working fine for now besides that we have uh, audio effects other Google applications like calendar and then this is file, uh, file manager science mode file manager gallery application and music application this is the inbuilt music application for the size mode screen record is comes with this one sound record also and then themes so these are the settings comes with this ROM And for the bugs part, HDR seems uh, working, but if you take a photo, sometimes it, it is getting camera stop. So there is one bug is there to be fixed. And then for the dash charging, it is not working currently, but uh, OnePlus One will uh, release the source for the kernel, so they can include this one, include the dash charging also, but. Uh, for now, it is taking almost the same time as the normal charging, so it's fine for me. So overall, uh, this ROM looks very neat and very fast. No issues with that. And if you want to know how to install this ROM, I'll provide a link in the description. Remember that this is the first build, so this is an early build, so it will take some time to be perfect condition. So. Let's wait and see. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.